Hey everyone, TragicMTG here with more cards. This is from a Goodwill, but actually on eBay, uh, the Goodwill of Maine. Uh, I noticed that they uh, often have magic cards. Uh, I don't think I've ever bought from them before, so I'm going to give it a try. Uh, these two lots, I actually ended up getting two lots for two, about $235. That included the shipping. I actually got them to combine the shipping, so that helps a bit. Um, these two lots looked somewhat promising. Uh, the first one here went for $102.50 and then actually bundled the shipping. So, uh, looks like in here pulled outs for everyone to see uh, is some good things. And we will then hope that there's more good things in there. You never know. So, uh, I got a Primordial Hydra. Let's see here. Everflowing Chalice, Friday Night Magic version, a Liege of the Tangle, an Arlen Cord, a Garrick. Some rares, got some Jaces, so I'm, I'm hopeful that this is not all of the good stuff um, just pulled out and laid out for everybody to see, because if it is, that might not really be worth it. This box here looks like it might be just all empty sleeves. I'm hoping that they're not all empty sleeves, but they kind of look like it. Um, hopefully these other boxes have a few more things in it. Hopefully these boxes have some stuff in it. Um, so there's that one. The next one looks like it came from pretty much the same collection. It actually has a binder and laid out here are some interesting ones. There's an Emrakul, the Promised End right there, a Decimator, some more stuff from like Eldritch Moon. I think this is probably a Tamiyo uh, from that set, uh, Heron's Grace Champion. And then inside the binder were, well, okay, first let's talk about the boxes. Um, who knows, right? There's a deck there. Is it full of a deck or is it just empty sleeves got some really old cards there beat up so that's always interesting to see maybe there's something really good maybe it's just beat up fallen empire stuff that's usually kind of what it ends up being inside the binder is i'm hoping another emrakul not the same emrakul that was shown on the front um looks like you got some foils in there and that's not a good rare but it is a rare so what's in the binder this is really the thing that i'm most interested in is this binder so Anyway, let's open the box. But let's take a look in this binder. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see, what does it look like? So, all right. There's a Gideon, a foil. There's a Decimator of the Provinces, Garrick Primal Hunter. And Aetherwind Basker. So these were the two that were on the top, and maybe that's all there was. Um, we'll be looking for uh, maybe in one of those other boxes, maybe there's another Emrakul. So we can hope, right? Let's just take a quick look in this. We got a Glorious End, Heart of Kirin, Phantasmal Image. That's solid. Okay, I don't think those are really too big of cards there. Um, they're all kind of falling out here. Nothing big there. You got a Champion of the Parish coming up. Pack Rat. A Seance, good old Seance. Um, that's neat, a foil promo or like a must be a, just a reward elite inquisitor. Rest in peace, that's good. All right, so nothing super, super big. Death Rite Shaman, okay, so some decent stuff. This was like, like a trade binder at one time, so abrupt K. Steam vents, okay. So I think uh, we're gonna do okay. Cliff Top Retreat, there's actually a couple of Cliff Top Retreats. Some of these have multiples in them. Um, so, it's not all bad. Steam vents, is there just one? Looks like it. So, Spire of Industry, Scavenger Ground. So that's what was in the binder. Pretty decent. So then, I think, um, picking through the rest of it, I should be able to at least break even. Um, let's work on that now. Okay, ready to start scanning up this lot from the Goodwill of Maine. 
start with this box of our devastation. A braid, see there? So we'll pull in a braid. It's actually the first card we're going to scan. It is 238, so it makes our list. It's over 90 cents. We're on our way. Next box Shadows over Innistrad. That pack box. Is it going to be? More of the same. Oh, it's actually some deck boxes. Let's see what's in here. It's an Emrakul uh, box with a Jace Unraveler Secrets right in there. That's cool. All right, let's check this out. Cool. There's some Mythics in here. Wow. Hey, this is uh, this is okay stuff. Yeah, great. Here we go. Jace Unraveler of Secrets will be a little bit. Um, having some connection issues there. Apparently, well, this one's five bucks for the Memory Adept. Being being four four bucks was the other one. Laboratory Maniac. It's the original. Uh, Innistrad version three seventy two. And there are two of those. Great. So these add a little play to them. They're like yeah, light play. Yeah, yeah, bordering on MP, yeah, that's definitely not light play on this Garrick Relentless, but it will still do okay, I think. Four bucks there. Tree of Redemption is not a whole lot. A couple bucks, one, two, is that right? Current TCG mid value 250, low a dollar 12. A trade in would be like a buck 29. So I'm just going on the mid price. Everyone understands that it's going to be uh, a lot less when you actually go to, to sell them, especially with condition. But there they are, a couple of those. Sword of Vengeance. Wow, this is a good box right here. Uh, Arlen Cord. Wow, that's nice. 379. And Everflowing Chalice. Friday Night Magic promo. Let's see what that goes for. Eight bucks, wow. This is pretty cool. So they did leave behind some good stuff. Unesh, Cryo Sphinx Sovereign. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. He's 75 cents, uh, which does not make our 90 cent pile. I'm gonna make a, I don't want him to go in there with my full art lands. Wow, Leads of the Tangle. There we go, 362. All right, increasing savagery is here. Zatalpa, Primal Dawn, yes. Wow, we got a foil Trastani. Uh, I guess the braid would go in here. Fix up our piles, there we go. Foil Trastani, Selesnya's voice. Very nice. Traverse the Olvenwald. There we go, 550s. Primordial Hydra in this one has definitely issues. Um, it's a good card. Would be 10 bucks, we'll put it here. Um, reduction, big reduction for condition. Uh, there's a full art, wow, Praetor's Council. So there's Mythics going back to Mirrored and Besieged in here. 365. Kefnet. Ooh, he's over 90 cents, so we'll put him here. Armada Worm. Wow. Not a big one, but I always liked this card when it was in standard. I mean, it's like a big, dumb token creature. Whoops. That's nothing but Sphere Safety is good. Wow. Parallel Lives. That's great. And Locks and Smiter. This is a 
Wow, that's gone up a lot. 18 bucks for Parallel Lives. This is a interesting mishmash. This is just like all good cards from a time period, several time periods. So we just pull them and put them all together. Mirage Mirror. Couple bucks there. Some Petal Grove. Okay, that's good. A few bucks. There we go. Another Parallel Lives. That's fantastic right there. And it's actually in pretty good shape. Better, better than some of this other stuff that we've been seeing. So, Wow, this is a great little uh, box collection right here. Champion of the Parish. Cool. I don't know what the plan was. Like This stuff doesn't go together in standard. It's too broad of sets. But it's almost like someone was going to do something in modern with this like I don't know humans or some kind of token thing I'm not sure anointed procession there we go 15 bucks wow that's great and if, yeah it's a, it's a token doubler yeah so it was boy I can't be hopeful to find a doubling season in here would I it's definitely in that kind of vein. Wow, Crested Sunmare. Ageless Entity. And maybe this was an attempt at a commander deck. I've got duplicate of Parallel Lives, but not so many duplicates of this other stuff. Hmm. Crested Sunmare. Yeah, maybe this was just someone collecting a bunch of cards together um, to get started building a commander deck. Kind of a humans, yeah. There's another sphere of safety, so it's they would have had to cut that out of their 100. Frank Sanity, that's good. A couple bucks there. Sounds like a nice Liliana deck box. Is there anything good in it? Hmm, got some vampires. Captivating Vampire, that's good. And a Blood Hall Priest, yeah. That's five bucks. Razaketh the Foul-Blooded and a Herald of Anguish. Whoa, Razaketh is 13 bucks. Nice, very cool. And a Herald of Anguish, buck 20. So, Pioneer having an effect on some of these cards. Anguished Unmaking, let's check. Yeah, wow, five bucks for the Anguished Unmaking. Elbrus, 379. Ah, oh, there is a Planeswalker. A... Yeah, this is the, uh, the Planeswalker deck version of Liliana. The Death Wielder. It's got a little scratching on the front of it. It's really not worth a whole lot anyway. Eh, it's not bad. $4.94. Um, there it is anyway. So, um, not a bad little box there. Again. So, um, the deck box itself is pretty nice. Um, I might just keep that one. So, here we go. The next one up is this Chandra deck and that's the Chandra from uh, Kaladesh I think which is now coming back around in price maybe it always was could we get that lucky and there be one in here not with uh, white and blue colored lands probably not ah cool Sphinx's Revelation and Supreme Verdict so these are uh, now Pioneer Staples again, so that's great. 849, so this card has come up quite a bit just in the last couple weeks here. Supreme Verdict, same kind of deal. Yeah, excellent. So this was definitely the, the right collection to pick up 
right when I picked it up, I think. All black stuff. Liliana's Caress is a good card. Did I miss one of those? I'm going to go back and look, actually. Yep, there it is. Another Liliana's Caress. So... Decent little box right there. And we've actually passed our total that we paid for the lot. Didn't even realize that. So um, there you go. Another win. And I still have several boxes to go through. Coming right up. From Eldritch Moon. Wow, Eldritch Evolution. All right. Very nice. Splendid Reclamation is a rare. That's a pretty decent one. There you go. Uh, oh, cool! It's a uh, one of those. It's a life counter card. <laughs> That's funny. It's a uh, full art diagraph ghoul. That's cool. I wonder if that's worth anything. Ah, it's not bad. Game day promo diagraph ghoul two thirty three. Just look at that art. I don't know if I've seen this one before, but. Um, very like it's a common card. It's got reprinted a bunch of times, but that's that's really neat to see the different art. And this swamp is actually pretty good with the moon like that. Yeah, we can get this. Yeah, yeah, it's right at ninety cents. That's my threshold. And a swift foot boots. Well, that's good. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Well, that was that was okay. Next up, an Aether Revolt box full of, I think these are empty sleeves, so. Ah, Foil Praetor's Grasp. Praetor's Grasp is 11.54. It's uh. I'd say light play. It's actually not bad for a foil. Uh, Evil Twin is a rare. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Uh, Skitherix the Blight Dragon, but it has some blight on it. Oh man, that's unfortunate. It's like a pretty big chunk missing out of the one Yeah, corner on both sides. So uh, that's pretty bad. Um, Ooh, I don't know if anyone would take that at MP. It might be a HP. That's like something I would probably ask around on the condition Discord on Cardsphere for. But if it was in near mint condition, that would be a $30 card right there. Um, still, um, it's playable. It's a good card, right? So there it is. That's awesome. Wow, not bad for uh, a basic Gideon box which had no Gideon in it. Uh, 
kind of Garrick Relentless. Wow, great. Uh, yeah, this is the one that flips to the infected one, the Veil Curse. That's great. It's a pre-release kit for Dominaria. There's your pre-release promo. A haphazard bombardment. Let's see what kind of deck they made. Well, they got a, a Joyra Weatherlight Captain also. Pre-release, wow, a lot more. 938 for Joyra, the uh, pre-release version there. So very cool, put it there. Torgar, Famine Incarnate. He's got, he's almost like a Hogak there, isn't he? 40 cents. Helm of the Host, that's not bad. Big duplicator right there, that's cool. You make tokens of equipped creature, very cool. So, is this where all the Eldritch... Oh, very cool. Well, this is where all the Eldritch Moon good stuff went to. That's great. Guy Reach Sanitarium and a Grim Flare. There you go, $14.99. He's a little bendy. I think a lot of these are because they spent some time in that box. Maybe they'll flatten back out. Selfless Spirit, 381 There it is. And uh, Thalia Heretic Cathar is a couple bucks. Providence, there's Tamio, Field Researcher. Great. Collective effort was like nothing, right? Tamio, Field Researcher, 784. The Docent of Perfection. Ooh, a spell queller, great. Docent of Perfection in foil. And it flips over to the final iteration. That's cool. Buck twenty seven in foil three fifty five spell queller yeah thirteen that's a new pioneer staple right there a foil bedlam reveler foil is seven fifteen Past in Flames, okay, great. This one is kind of going up. All right, you didn't think I forgot. We got this little binder to go through too, so I'm gonna basically take all this stuff out of here and then we'll scan it all up. Here we go. Okay, that's it for that binder. Got this many cards out of it. <laughs> and uh, we'd seen a lot of them at the beginning, um, but now it's time to scan them up. So here we go. Here we go, Heart of Kiran. Couple bucks. Gideon. Marshall Paragon. Now, Decimator of the Provinces. Not so much, but Emrakul, the Promised End. In. Um, I'd say it's near mint. There's a little nick on one corner. But at 29.65, that's in the good pile right there. Aetherwind Basker. Garrick. Eric Primal Hunter is like five bucks. We'll put him in this pile.
Yeah, I'm going to skip by some of these. Well, Cyclonic Rift is a good one. I better, better not skip by that one. Um, it's going to be 20 bucks. There we go. Phantasmal Image, another great card right there. Nine bucks. Yeheni is a few bucks. Pack Rat's good. Rest in Peace is a good card. That's five something. A Foil Elite Inquisitor Full Art Game Day Promo. And then the regular Elite Inquisitor is not so much. Two fifty eight for Ley Line of Punishment. Death Right Shaman, this is a great one to find right now since it is spiking up. Almost ten bucks. Abrupt Decay. That's a good one. A couple of cliff top retreats at four bucks each. That's good. Knowledge pool, I think, is a little bit. Graft Digger's Cage. That's good. Here's a good one. Steam Vents. Yep, 13 bucks, so... All right, that is it for the box. I'm gonna take out everything that was under 90 cents and see how we did. There we go, 138 cards, totaling up $580. Uh, pretty much doubled my money on this, so that's pretty cool. Got some good stuff like uh, Amrakul. Got a Scytherix with a little bit of damage. Phantasmal Image, Deathrite Shaman, a Grim Flare, Spell Queller, a Cyclonic Rift, some really good stuff um, from recent-ish sets uh, a lot of pioneer stuff here so it's uh, kind of nice anyway thanks for tuning in make sure to like and comment down below and let me know what you think and i will see you on the next one